All right, so for those of you with the uh, Super Duties that don't have the uh, trailer brake module uh, and you always wanted to be able to tow something with trailer brakes without hooking up an external or aftermarket trailer brake, mo brake module, I'll show you how to do it with the OEM brake module controller. Uh, you got to have the towing package installed and uh, mine mine is one way to check that is to make sure you got the the four pin plug plus the round trailer brake plug so we know we have the the wiring in place to uh, to do that and uh, on my vehicle the only other thing I needed was the uh, the master cylinder it needed the second pressure switch on it and uh, I'll show you that in a bit okay so here's under the hood the super duty master brake cylinder and uh, right under here you can see there are two plugs now that are plugged in and uh, one is for the pressure switch for the trailer brake controller. Um, the wiring harness was in here originally. It was just uh, taped up alongside the, the side of the truck here. Um, so all I did is I popped out the old master brake uh, cylinder and popped in the new one with the second uh, connector there. And uh, everything is should be hooked up electrically now. Um, I'm not even sure I had to put in uh, fuses under the junction box on the inside of the cab for that. So let's plug in the brake controller and see what happens. Okay, with... Try to set the camera down here. Brake controller, trailer brake controller plugged in. I won't, I won't push this in yet till we're done. Just let it sit there. Now, I'll turn the key on. We get lights. The lights go out. And on the dash, we get trailer brake module fault. So we have to uh, get into the uh, instrument cluster module and tell it that there is now a trailer brake controller on the system. So let's get let me get out my computer and uh, let's get hooked up into the trucks computers. Okay, so I got the truck in the on position. The key is in the on position. Uh, started up for scan here, and uh, you notice that there are DTCs in the trailer brake controller and in the instrument cluster module. Um, probably because those two aren't not talking to each other. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to enable the trailer brake controller inside of the instrument cluster. Go to uh, programming, instrument cluster module. Okay, so we're into editing the IC module and you notice for uh, trailer brake module control module uh, it shows as not equipped let's see if we can change that to enabled highlight it edit selected number one equipped check mark 
and right. Please confirm these changes. Trailer brake control module not equipped to equipped. Okay. Writing out data. Blocks program successfully. Please cycle off the ignition and back on. All right. Ignition off. And back on. And now we got lights out. Let's see what we get on the cluster now. Well, my rear left door is ajar. That's the only one that seems to be popping up. So the uh, trailer brake control module. Yeah, there we go. Okay, trailer detected or disconnected, I should say. When I move the trailer disconnected, we now have a trailer brake control module talking with the instrument cluster module. All done here. So let's give this an OK. And we can shut down. Let me turn the key off here. Close down four scan. We are done. Disconnect our ELM config. I'll put everything back together and uh, see if it all works. All right, we got the dash back together. Another newly installed trailer brake control module. And uh, let's start it up and see, make sure everything is working as we planned it to be. Idiot lights are on. Let's see. I'll check my brakes here. Nothing happens. The brakes still work as advertised. We move our gain a little bit. Trailer is disconnected. And uh, are we now have control on the trailer brake controller. The modules are talking together. The computer part of it is done. And that's uh, one great thing about Forescan. You can go in there and make changes to programmable parameters like that on the Ford vehicles. Okay, let's test out the trailer brake controller with the trailer installed. on the dash showing the gain staying on press the brakes nice so that is it is a win Perfect. All right, all done here.